Hi guys, good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank you for stopping by my channel. You have come back to Charismatic Glam with me, Charisma. And I thank you guys for watching. So I am coming to you guys because like I said in my previous video, um, I just wanna also give a disclaimer um, that that video on the Beauty Grace hair, which I have right here, was downloaded to my channel a little late. Those of you that are also YouTubers like me and download videos, y'all already know, you know, the drill of things not sometimes making it to YouTube in your, you know, time. Sometimes YouTube has its own time of when it wants you to download the videos. And mine just happened to be not on Sunday like I had planned and wound up having to be yesterday. And because of that, this video is even late. So what I'm going to actually do is... <clears throat> Because I had to actually start my um, week series of the Beauty Grace wig a little late. I'm, the next video will wind up, the last video actually will be, I think, Monday. It will be from Monday to Monday, basically. If, if I'm saying it right, or either Monday or Tuesday. Uh, Monday. Yeah. Basically, it'll be the last video will be on Monday. And um, it'll be on Monday since this video that was supposed to be uploaded on Sunday was actually loaded on Monday so I'm gonna take it all the way till Monday and we're gonna follow this wig so anyway it's early in the morning it's 9 15 a.m. right now Tuesday July 7th and we are getting ready to prepare for the complete installment of this wig and I have the thread that I'm going to use so if you look on my cap of which I put on already my hair is braided down sorry guys if you can't hear me I'm trying to speak up a little bit because I'm trying to also bend down so that way you can see so what I did was I sewed my cap down went through every single braid yeah you can see it better this way went through every single braid and stitched it across but what I think I'm going to do which is why I have this thread ow <laughs> which is why I have this thread and needle in my hand. I'm going to add another stitch in these braids and I'm going to bring it this time up here a little bit more so that way I can ensure that this cap won't go anywhere. Um, once I have this double stitch down, I am going to then pull the cap and make sure that I, I'm not sure whether I want to, let me pull it up. Oh, I'm not sure yet if I want to glue it or if I want to just do the got to be spray and blow dry method, I'm not too sure. Um, reason being because I am going to sew my wig down. I do not necessarily want to, um, you know, tack this little piece down. Like I said before, um, in the previous video, this is a four by four closure. Um, and when I went and read the specs of the wig, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but it's supposed to be four inch parting, I think. So they say, but this parting is kind of deep. I think I did mention this and I don't want to say the same things, but for those of y'all that have been watching my videos, y'all know how I get, y'all know how I be rambling. Like I'm trying to stop. I really am, but I'm super excited to really have y'all follow me a whole week with this wig. But this is what the wig looks like this morning, completely dry in its driest state. Now what I noticed about the wig so far in its driest state is, I don't know, can you guys see it? But to me, the ends look a little dry. Um, not that this is something that I am like extremely concerned with, cause I'm not. But um, I really haven't put any product, anything on the wig. The only thing I was doing was a little spray bottle and I thought it was over here, but I've only been putting the little spray bottle on the wig and psh, 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 and that's pretty much it. Straight water, nothing else yet. I haven't put anything on the wig. Like so far the luster in the wig is pretty good. Like I have no real complaints, but so far I'm noticing that the ends of my wig, it looks a little dry. Like it really looked dry. It looked like it could use some moisture, some, um, what's this up? Some conditioner, some something. So today is that day. I'm going, getting ready to go to the beauty supply store and today's, uh, let's go. I'm getting ready to go to the store. Um, my beauty supply store actually opens up at 10 o'clock. So at 10 o'clock, we will be in the beauty supply store. Yeah, around 10. Yeah, we'll be in the beauty supply store. I also want to color this hair because 
Mm -mm. This natural black, yeah, we don't do that. This is the actual color that it comes in. You can see some little hints of brown, but for the most part, it has a, you know, the black. You know, like, it's pretty much a natural black. I'm just gonna put it on just so that way y'all can see what it looks like. And I've said this before, I kind of have no damn forehead. I just push back my cap a little bit. But this is what it looks like on. So I can't wait to sew this wig down and really kind of get into these curls and figure out what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna cut any of the hair, not gonna layer it, not gonna do nothing to it. What you see is exactly what it's gonna be. So if y'all can see like this hair stretch, this hair is actually what it's supposed to be, an actual 22 inch wig. And I'm a bit rough, so this hair needs to be able to stand the test of time when it comes to me and this hair. So I'm going through it and so far not too bad. I done shook this hair up and stuff, so if you guys are like, oh, it's tangled, it's really not. Um, but this is the shedding that I'm having so far for the morning. If you guys can see that. It's not a whole lot, but it's shedding. A little bit of shedding. Um, but that's like I said, I expect this is curly hair. Curly hair for me, it don't matter where the hell you get curly hair from sometimes. It always has some shedding. So if you think that you're about to get some hair that's never going to have any type of, you know, loose hair, like you're sadly mistaken. So, but even with all of that, I still want you guys to really, oh, here we go. So it's shedding. It is shedding. Let's see how bad it's shedding over time. This is why I really want to be able to have you guys follow this wig. Not just me pop up on the camera, one month review, um, two months review, and, and I'm still telling you, oh, I love it. I, it's just a great wig. Um, so far though, even with the shadow, this is how much. And like I said, to me, I still don't think it's a whole lot. Um, this is just day two of literally running my hands through it. The shedding is not crazy. I got one good strand, no, two. Two good strands there. Um, but again, we're gonna follow this wig all the way through. And after the week is over, then I will give like my absolute complete thoughts. Um, after this, I will still come back to you guys with another review, even after this week, because I want to be able to give you the most thoroughest, um, information I can give you on a wig, especially this wig. Uh, so I look back on my Amazon price as well, and I think I put it up inside the, in my last video as well, it was $90 and like 87 cents, but I didn't pay that. I one I have to look back at my Amazon receipt, which I think I paid, I know I paid, so I did pay, I paid like 87-ish. I didn't think I paid 90 because I had a coupon somewhere. So if you managed to get a coupon, um, then you too might not pay exactly the $90 um, as one well coupon. Plus I am a Prime member, so I got free shipping. Um, and I think it came, like I said, it, I ordered on the third, it came on the fifth, so two days. That's pretty normal for Prime. But I want you guys to really follow me with this wig, so. So, um, real quick guys, y'all are gonna kill me. Earlier, when I went to the beauty supply store, I totally forgot to turn on the camera. Um, <laughs> it's not funny. Like, I'm not laughing. But these are some of the little things that happened. I mean, all I did was go to the beauty supply store and buy my products. But I got them here for you. I said I have to make sure that I film this video of me coloring. I'm sorry, not coloring. Bleaching the knots on this particular wig. Um, I don't necessarily need to, but I'm going to. Um, yeah, I just think that, I don't know. Y'all let me know. Should I? I don't think I need to, but I'm going to do it because this is my first time ever bleaching knots. Um, number two, I have, I'm going to color this hair dark, and this is the type of um, hair color that I use when I color hair, I use blue black. I love black hair. It's black or nothing, period. 
Uh, every now and again, I may get a little, you know, snazzy and I decide that I want to color some hair. And usually it's a number 27, which is like a honey blonde, but not the whole thing. I may do streaks. I may do like the paint dip where the, you know, like the ends, like about that much is um, colored. But today we're going dark, baby. So I purchased, this is the number 40 developer and the lady in the store recommended this to me. I'm not sure if this is good, bad, or indifferent. Um, I think they changed the bottle, but I could be wrong. Y'all tell me. And then I have this here, the bleaching powder, right? That's what it is? Yeah. I don't know if y'all can tell, this is my first time ever bleaching some knots. I've bleached hair before, but I've never bleached any knots. So, we're gonna do this together. Y'all gonna watch me, and then y'all can let me know down in the comments if I'm doing it correctly, if I'm doing it bad. You know, girl, you need it, you know, an extra step. Even if y'all have some advice on how to make this process easier, let me know. And I also got the brush that I see a lot of people use when they're, oh, when they're bleaching, when they're putting in, or rinsing their own hair. I used to use this too. Um, and it's the tint brush. So without further ado, we will get on into this. So let's get to it. Okay guys, I just wanna show y'all that I bleached the knots, but as you can see, some of the um, 
the bleach got it onto the actual hair and in the roots like you know it came a little further than we wanted it to but it's all right because like i said i have hair color i'm going to color the hair so this is what happens when your bleach i guess is a little too runny and it kind of comes above your um i mean comes into your actual cap it turns the hair some of the hair brassy but if you're going to color the hair like i am it really doesn't matter so we're going to color the hair
all right guys so i have i had to install the rest of the wig off camera because i could not really see the back of my head as you guys know that no one can um <laughs> but i had to um sew in the the back the back of the wig i had to pull it down sew it and all the hair was like flipped up like this so you would not have been able to really see me so i said you know what i have to do this off camera come back and then here i am voila so i know the top right now looks crazy but let me just show you guys it's only because i actually just had to brush out the hair um i am going to get the straightening comb and i am going to flatten it out but i promise y'all it is flat it is flat it's just that this hair is big and poofy and i've had to kind of go through the hair and i just want to really show you guys so the back of it is damp and i don't know if you guys remember when i was telling you that this hair this morning looked a little dry to me i use my favorite 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 um conditioner called silicone mix i use it in my own hair uh, so i know how it works and i said let me see if it's gonna you know pretty much work really good and provide the slip um with this and slip meaning like the moisturized um you know feeling so like that pretty much how it does with my own hair and it did uh i just want to give you guys a close-up on these ends honey these ends look so much better than that frizzy mop that i was getting this morning it was looking crazy however i just brushed it and it doesn't look frizzy i just want to show you guys like this is pretty much just what it looks like when i guess like you're combing through it and i was right as you guys remember y'all but i was taking my hand and kind of raking through um the hair so yeah um i colored the hair as well blue black by adore um i bleached my knots and I have on a cap underneath, so we got some scalp going on here. So I'm really, really excited. Um, this actually came out not too bad. I have, if you can see, um, this was, oh, I gotta clean that up. That is just the got to, the leftover got to be. And I need to pull my edges out. Um, I did that so that way it would look a little bit more realistic instead of it just, you know, bringing the cap all the way here. Like I said to you guys before, I have no forehead at all. Um, this is a bit of the lace so yeah i'm trying to figure out do i want to go ahead and use the got to be gel um or the glue that i have or do i want to take some time and you know like sew it right here what do i want to do um i think i don't really want to sew it down only because i sewed down my edges on this wig and i don't want to do too much pulling to this hair so i think what i'm going to do possibly is either I'm going to go ahead and cut cut some more of this lace off and yeah because I still want it to look kind of realistic because I can still get away with you know half up I can comb it all because this is pretty much a four by four by four but it's a free parted free parting um four by four um closure so i think that's probably what i'm gonna do what i'm actually gonna do right now is probably wet this hair down a little bit and then twist it up so that way it's not as frizzy um i have some coconut um hair serum that i'm gonna use as well because it's very lightweight and it's you know not really really heavy on the hair hold on let me go get it okay so this is the serum that i have it is a coconut um hair polisher serum from um palmas i, I really like this and then i have y'all know my good old trusty dusty water in the bottle i went today to go get another one of these bottles and sold out so i guess to amazon i go because y'all know that's like that's like the freaking like going to the beauty supply store any damn way but online so I'm just running this through the hair and I'm running it all the way through from the roots to the tips. And like I said, so far this has been really good because it's not heavy at all. Very lightweight um, for the hair. I also plucked my 
part. I have not put any concealer in my part just yet, and I'm actually about to do that. I'll do that now, and you don't need to wait in. So, what concealer am I gonna use? I think I'm gonna use my LA Girl Concealer. And this wig, um, this four by four closure came with baby hair. I'm not gonna use the baby hair at all. I just, I don't wanna use it. So, I am going to, which one is this? Warm Honey, yes, I'm gonna use Warm Honey. And I'm using whatever is on this little applicator. And I'm just gonna run it. And I don't do it neat because what I do is later when I go through and kind of, you know, run, run it up, uh, up and down, and it can. I'll fix it myself because right now, yeah, right now with all the stuff that I'm putting on it, it will fix itself. Okay, so. There we go. Um, so I think in the morning though, I'll probably fully tack down this part of the wig. Um, so that way it will lay a lot flatter. And so this right here, because I feel like it's lifting just a little, a little too much for me, a little too much. But for the most part, I guess this is just me putting the concealer on. I have my little brush that I can kind of brush it through. It will definitely, like I said, it's just concealer. It will come off the hair. Um, I'm still putting on, you know, the products and then I'm gonna wet it. So, like I said, by morning, it definitely will come off. Nothing really to worry about, which, like I said, I, so far this is like, and if you're like me, running your hands through this stuff, you're gonna make the hair bigger. It's it's curly hair, and when I say curly, it's curly. It's really curly at that. So, this is what, day one, um, with this on my head. We will follow this wig until next week. Like I said, it'll be on overnight, so you get to also see how it sleeps. I'm literally taking you guys on the journey with me of this wig. This is, again, the Beauty Grace um, 4x4 closure, 22 inches. I paid, according to what um, Amazon has right now, $90.87, I believe it was. Um, if, you, if I'm wrong on exact price, please check the video before this one. Um, and you'll be able to see the exact price. However, like I said, I had a coupon that they offered and I believe I paid like either 87 or 86, somewhere around that. But so far, like I said, um, after doing everything that I've done to the hair today, I've bleached the knots, um, gotten bleach um, further than just the knots in between. So I actually had to do a little coloring because yeah, but it didn't matter because I was going to color it anyway. Um, Y'all see why I was looking for another one? Love this bottle. Continuous spray. Gotta get one. Like, this thing right here is like magic to weave. But, um, what was I about to say? Oh yeah, this is a um, Beauty Grace 22 inch deep wave um, wig. Very inexpensive. Uh, like I said to you guys, if you think that you are not going to have shedding, you'd be lying to yourself. It's curly hair. It's not. It's not crazy shedding though. I will say that, and I've been saying that. It's not crazy ass shedding where you're like what in the hell like I'm paying for a wig and majority of my wig is on the floor and you know half of it isn't even in my head this ain't that so you you know so far like I said it's pretty good but we still got a couple more days to go so we gonna continue to follow this wig okay so thank you guys for watching oh yep let me show y'all how I twist up my hair for the night. 
Um, I know a lot of people might want to know how do I keep the curl. Um, but this is how I keep the curl. I literally just take the hair. I wish I had my brush brush here, but I don't. Um, but it's cool. I have this brush, just run, run it through the hair. Just making sure everything gets all the way through and literally take it in two sections and twist. That is it. And then I wrap my hair with a scarf. No special, nothing to it. And in the morning, I am gonna use the straightening comb and go over this top so we can lay flat before we get to the curl. Cause yeah, the waves in this makes it look like, you know, like we got a hump going on and we don't. There's no hump in this wig. This wig is, it's like so freaking, so far so easy to use. And I like that about it. So, yeah. But anyway, <clears throat> thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being on this journey of following me. Because um, I'm sure you guys are going to be here. Because I'm damn sure going to give you all the tea, baby, on this way. All of it. So, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Do y'all see this? Do y'all? Do y'all? Uh, wrap it up. It's, it's time to go to bed now. <laughs>